Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of the Mental Health Sports, right? This is a story that I wanted to touch on for a while now because I've been insulted ever since I've seen an 18-year-old kid come to town and been called, and it was acceptable to be called a freak, and a Greek freak. And I just, that, you know, it just stuck with me that it was something that I didn't like to hear and something that I didn't like. Because I, I'm like, first of all, the guy is an African, okay, that lived in Greece, okay? So, with that being said, you can not downplay the fact that he's a Nigerian and upplay the fact that he's a Greek by nation, but yet and still, you're going to call him a freak. <laughs> Ooh, y'all are something else. Anyway, Giannis Antetokounmpo has been one of the most exciting foreign players in the NBA history. Carrying on the strong legacy of players like Dirk, Hakeem, and other big men from outside the U.S., Giannis has become an NBA champion just like them. Ante Tocco got his beginnings in basketball world in Greece, where he was born and raised. Because of this, Giannis has been dubbed the Greek freak. But despite Giannis representing Greece on the national, uh, international and national level, he doesn't consider himself a part of the country's heritage and culture. Do y'all hear me? Because this is very important that you understand this. Despite Giannis representing Greece on the national and even international level, he doesn't consider himself a part of the country's culture and heritage. Almost kind of like African Americans in America. But, oh, we don't want to go there. In an interview with the undefeated, Giannis addressed his heritage being born and raised in Greece. He represents them on an international stage and at tournaments such as FIBA and the Olympics. However, that is the extent to his participation in Greek culture. Antetokounmpo was born in Greece, but to Nigerian parents. Y'all get it? So whenever he went back home, his upbringing is more rooted in the Nigerian culture and heritage because of his parents. They were a lot more strict with him and commanded respect from Giannis and his brother Kustos and Thanasis whenever they spoke. Obviously, a lot of people don't know where I'm from, but a lot of people think my mom or my dad are from Greece, but no. Both of my parents are black. Both of my parents are Nigerian. I grew up in a Nigerian home. Obviously, I was born in Greece and went to school in Greece, but at the end of the day, when I go home, there is no Greek culture. It's straight up Nigerian culture. It's about discipline. It's about respecting your elders and having morals. While Ante de Kupo still goes with his Greek nationality, he puts more weight in his Nigerian upbringing. That isn't to say that he doesn't appreciate his Greek origins, but he tries to dis, uh, create a distinction between his nationality and his heritage. Do y'all understand that? Because see, a lot of y'all don't. And so when you keep going on with this Greek freak and this Greek freaking, um, in my opinion, it's just a way of you not acknowledging that he's a Nigerian, that he's an African. Uh, Malcolm X said something that was very important. He said, you can have, a cat can have kittens in an oven. It don't make them biscuits. Okay? Okay. No. Or, how'd it go? <laughs> a cat can have kittens in an oven, 
but it doesn't make them biscuits. So, while he was born in Greece, went to school in Greece, it does not negate the fact that he is a Nigerian. By, 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 just by sheer, just by sheer heritage, and it's very important that you understand that there's an African culture, there's a Nigerian culture, it's not Greek. So, calling him a Greek freak again is kind of undermining the fact that he is a proud Nigerian. And I'm glad that he made it known. These are not my words. These are Giannis Antetokounmpo's words. He letting you know what time it really is. Stop calling me a Greek freak. And stop having all these insulting names for black athletes, in my opinion. I want to hear some of those kind of same insulting names for their counterparts. You never called uh, Dirk or Larry, you know, any of those derogatory names. Okay? You didn't say, uh, you know, Bird from racist clan town, Indiana. <laughs> because you know he wasn't about that. Larry was just damn good, but you didn't even, you don't even do that. Not only that, you don't compare white athletes. You don't say who's the best, John Stockton, or let's just make up something. Uh, uh, um, what's my man's name I like to play um, for Cleveland? Mark Price. Who's the best? And y'all need to stop allowing these people to separate and divide us. Period. It's just that simple. We really are one people. But if you want to break us down, we have different cultures. Right? And phenotypes. But one thing is should not be accepted is for them to keep comparing us in 2023. It's a new day. No more black athletes being compared to whatever. And unless you're going to compare white athletes and like who's the best, Pete Maravich or uh, let's say um, uh, white chocolate. Who's the best? Y'all don't even entertain that because you don't compare white players. Stop comparing the black and stop making up all these names for them that they don't agree to. They just wear it because they want to get in the NBA or they want to get to where they're going. And once they settle down and get to the money and whatever, they start letting you know, look, I never appreciated that. I just went along with it. And that seems like to be the case with uh, Giannis. Well, tell me if you disagree. I'll see you in the next video.